Hiya folks, in this video I'm going to show you my crazy bird. Out of me? Not you, this. This is a crazy bird, electric bike baby. Oh. Right, we've been sent this to review, and this is a Crazy Bird electric bike, Sharon. Yeah, big wheels. Yep, yeah, big wheels. This is how it comes packaged, folks, as you can see. It's uh, a large wheeled bike. It's We've got it in the orange colour. They do it in four colours, apparently. So we're going to get it out of the box, and um, we'll have a closer look at it, put it together, and see what's that exactly involved in this bike that we got here. Right, so this also comes within the box. It looks like we've got a... Uh, a pump there to pump the tyres up I and mean, we should have all the tools needed here to um, actually get the bike built so we've got some stickers there we've got the manual and sure enough we have got a variety of tools there including allen keys screwdrivers spanners as well as the um, other ancillary bits in here and this i would imagine is the power bank for charging your bike up yeah it's the power block so let's just put that down there for a the minute and there's the lead that comes with it as well right so quite a comprehensive set gonna stick you on the tripod put you on a bit of time lapse let's get this thing built right First things first, folks, read the instructions fully. It's pretty simple to put together here by the looks of it. It's uh, a matter of putting the handlebars on first. So we're going to go through the book here and just do that. And again, everything comes assembled on the handlebars. Just make sure that you um, untwist everything and get them in the correct orientation, which is probably that way around, like that. There we go. So I've just got to undo these four header nuts here on the handlebar clamps and again using the tools provided we shouldn't need anything else with this keep that in there and all we've got is these four hex head allen bolts here and just undo these so that we can slide the uh, handlebars in place All you do then is literally offer this up like that and literally just replace these four bolts making sure you do them up diagonally just to keep them uh, all tensioned together okay that's that done so when you're tightening these up, it does actually give you the uh, Newton meters to tighten them up to. These ones are six Newton meters there. And the ones on the side of the headstocks here are six to eight Newton meters. So just to ensure that you're tightening these things up to the right torque settings, folks. Right, okay, so now for the front wheel installation. And again, this has got a, um, a transport bolt, which is in the front wheel. So um, you've got to remove that. And this is one of those um, semi-locking things, so you don't need a tool to put this on or take it off. You could probably turn that over, actually. You want to be careful of these levers as well. So I'm just going to spin that up the other way. I've got the cardboard on the floor here from the um, existing one. All right, just take this travel bolt out. Just keeps the fork straight like that. There is a cable tie around the um, brake caliper there, which you need to take off as well. So I'm just gonna cut that off. There we go. Just pull that little red label out of the uh, brake pads. So I'm just gonna drop the wheel into its little slots, making sure the disc goes between the pads like that. And looking at your instructions, this clamp mechanism wants to go the side where the disc is on so all you have to do there is literally take off the um, little end cap there with the spring that side poke this through the hole that way and then that should be it so literally just undo that clamp there push that through there put the spring and the little thing back on the other side 
and when you tighten this up that should lock everything in place so I like that maybe there we go there you go and that's it how about that nice and easy right coming back to the um, instructions the next thing is installing pedals folks right so these are the pedals folks they've got r on them for right and this one's got r on it for right so that goes in here with the um 15 mil spanner will do this up so just tighten them up with a 15 mil spanner provided make sure that they're going in nice and easy if it's tight you might have it cross threaded and you don't want that so they should really go in easy there we go and the one marked left with an l goes on the corresponding side on the left and this one's got a left-handed thread so to do this up you have to turn it the other way anti-clockwise so left to left and that one does up anti-clockwise which is a left-handed thread and that's on the left hand pedal and give it a good tighten up folks there we go that's it that's that done right headlight installing time this goes on here facing forwards like that so you've got the bolt and nut already in there it is a nylock nut so you will need to hold back with the spanner i just undo that and this goes on the front way through there like that and you just replace your nut and washer on the back holding your spanner on there so it don't spin and just tighten up your front nut holding that in the uh, top position there there we go and just nip that up and you should find the connector for that which lives up here a yellow connector it can only go one way locate the pins and there you go it's as simple as that yeah the battery's already in there it says turn the key counterclockwise to release the lock so put it in there anti-clockwise and then you basically should be able to pull that forward i think is there a lock up here Oh, I see, there's a little lock there, folks, look. And then seat it down. There you go, just push that. Then that's the battery there, look. That's how you take it out. If you need to take it out, it's quite a weighty thing. The protective uh, coating that's on the battery. And don't forget, you don't need to um, take the battery out to charge this at all. Press there to see if the battery is charged there. Look, there's a little indicator like there. The charging point is on the bottom, which you take out of there. So you can plug the charger directly into this with the battery in the bike. You don't need to um, remove the battery and putting it back in. It's literally getting it bottom seated first and then literally push it back in. And that's it, I think. Yeah, turn the key clockwise. And that is so you can charge it up through this port down here. I'll just put that rubber plug in. So that's that. Battery has got charging. So that's the removing the battery lever up there. Right, I've also just placed on the uh, rear reflector. That just uh, clips around the seat pole there. And uh, your seat adjustment is done literally by pushing that lever out and you can raise or lower your seat to the said height you want. So let's just put it there for the moment. There you go, that's simple. Right, we're all set up now, folks. We're going to turn it on for the first time. And uh, underneath the... Um button here for the up and down of the gears you've got a little button under there i think you see it just there and you hold that a long press and it turns your speed controller on and all your display you go up and down your pedal assist there with the up and down controls there you can see it changing over there i'm going to start with pedal assist number one uh, you've got the light switch at the front if i press that oh there's the horn there's your light switch on. Your um, handlebars have got these handy little resting pads there for cruising, which is very, very handy. These are your hydraulic brakes there. You've got front and back there. And also you've got your up and down shift in for your Shimano gears there. That takes it up and that brings you back down the gearbox. You shouldn't really change the gear on these when you're uh, stationary, so I'll leave that until I get going. Now you might have noticed that there were some extra throttle grips in there. I presume that that is for the, um, not the UK markets, where you can have the throttle assist there. So you can turn the grip and then you can, without pedalling sort of thing. But 
as it is for the UK market, this thing's been set up just for the UK market. It's got the 250 watt output motor at the moment. Uh, Shimano gears, hydraulic brakes, these four inch fat wide tires, 26 inches as well. You've also got a locking facility there. As you see, it's open that way, or you turn it fully the other way, and it locks the front suspension up as well. So that's for sort of road use, but me personally, I'd probably leave it on the suspension mode. And you can buy mud guards off of the uh, Crazy Bird website for the front and the back if you want them as well. And also they do racks as well. So that's just something to look at. I've got my GoPro fitted. Let's get moving on this thing. And uh, I'll take you through the pedal assist, see how it goes, see how it performs. And uh, let's see how good this little bike is to ride. So I'm only on pedal assist number one at the moment. I'm just gonna take it up. Oh, straight away. I'm only on four. I'm just shifting up the gearbox now. I'm already doing 16 miles an hour, 15 miles an hour. Wow, that's good. Let me take it up to full pedal assist, hold on. Five. I'm on maximum now. I'm basically really doing very little work, folks. Just dropped into seventh gear. <laughs> Cruising along at 16 and 15 miles an hour. And doing very, very little work. This is great. If you stop pedaling, then it will slow down. The pedal assist will stop. Keep pedaling and you can feel it automatically bring you back up to a maximum pedal assist and you can drop down the pedal assist as you're going along and that means you're putting more pedal power in as well but doing 15 miles an hour on pedal assist free it's going very easily Even in seventh gear, folks, it really does give you a good pullback. From starting off from um, stationary, I'm in sixth gear at the moment. And as soon as you start turning the pedals, it's zooming up literally with me doing nothing to um, 18. I'm doing 18 now, look at that. And I ain't doing any work. Although my feet are turning on the pedals. All right, I'm just coasting now, coming up to this roundabout. I'm gonna be turning left. I'm still in sixth gear and I'm starting pedaling now and automatically it's pulling me around the roundabout, no problem whatsoever. Straight up to 16 without any work at all. This is marvelous. Suspension's working great. I'm really impressed with this. And the good thing about having uh, one of these e-bikes is that you're still getting exercise as well. And depending on how much exercise, you just drop the pedal assist down. Let's drop it down to one, for example. I'm on a nice flat road. I can feel myself pedaling, but it's still helping me along as well. And if you need that little jolt of uh, acceleration, just go up the pedal assist gearbox so to speak and you're fine right just turning around both brakes working fine hydraulic brakes yeah it's supposed to have a range of over 60 miles is I would imagine that would be on um, pedal assist one I would have thought on pretty flat road but this is a bumpy road here and it's taking it really well oh, okay I'm in seventh gear now, folks. And I'm just going to start pulling away it's very hard in seventh gear. But then it kicks in. As soon as you make one revolution, it kicks in. And in no time, you're up to speed. So, ideally, when you're slowing down, click down the gearbox. So, do use your gears as well 
when you slow down so it's easy to click down let's just do that because it will definitely be easier to start off for the bike and also the battery if you're starting off in a lower gear so I'm just cruising along now I'm still pedaling but I'm just going down now probably to third gear let's pull over we're well, pulling over we're in third gear still see third gear is a gear that you can still pedal and pull away quite easily you know what I thought so let's have a go yep as soon as it kicks off and we're in yeah and then once you get moving move up your gearbox to get to your maximum speed very easy to ride very intuitive super bike to ride so handy getting through with this step through model as well because you're not um, cocking your leg over to get over it so easy absolutely lovely bike so there you go folks that is the uh, crazy bird jumper what a lovely performing bike that is seat is nice and comfortable as well display is very easy to read when you're going along there the shimano gears change absolutely great up and down the gearbox no problem these hydraulic brakes no problem at all whatsoever you've got places for um extra stuff if you want to put like a water bottle on there i suppose like that and as i say it will come with uh, the provision for mud guards off of the uh, crazy bird website as well well there you go folks if you want to have a look at these don't forget the link will be just below this video do take a look at it and i'm sure there'll be a discount code there as well along it's got a lovely sturdy aluminium frame there so that shouldn't go rusty at all anyway thanks very much hope you've enjoyed this video i'll see you in the next one bye for now